Howdy folks, welcome back to Railroads Online. I've been busy and I think we can get out of here now. I've got the uh, the Betsy pulling. I need to get this guy helping. I think the fire's coming on up now. Just load it in, so I gotta re redo that so it's that spawns in the incorrect position. That is off, so that's good. So I hope I have the switches set right. <laughs> what it did is I, I relayed the grade from here up to the top. Yeah, it's about 3% now in the steepest parts. I kind of wound around the hills and just redid that. I've also, you can kind of see down there, I've got some track down to the smelter. So we got that ready. And I'm hoping I got that switch set and we can just get on out of here. So I did a lot of track laying. Uh, I know a lot of you want to see the track laying. And I apologize, but I don't have a lot of time to record. And I had time, uh, but wife was in the next room watching a movie and stuff. And it was loud and I just, I couldn't record. But I did get a bunch of track laying done. So this switch here goes down. It goes up the valley as well, but it goes down. Ends up down there at the smelter. I still got a bunch of trees to cut, but I think I've got most of the track down there laid out. Looks like we're yeah, we're losing steam pressure. So I have to wait for that fire to catch up. Are you actually at a hundred? Yeah, we're skidding out of control now. Probably should have waited until I had a full uh, fire going. Let's get this thing stopped. <laughs> this is fun running back and forth across like was it eighteen car? Uh oh, eighteen cars. And now I'm stuck in the train. Awesome. Hey, yeah, I've been facing a lot of bugs here with Rose Online. <laughs> it's I like I want to play this game, but it is so frustrating. I'll be back. All right, got out of the train. Back here up the Betsy. It was just getting that firebox going. Uh, we did get the train stopped, so that's good. All right, so that breaks off. I'm gonna go ahead and release that brake. And let's run back across the train again. Whee! While we're up here, we got a pretty decent view. So that other track there goes up the valley going down. I think it's 3%. Finally loops back, hooks up. I've got a loop around the smelter with some sidings and stuff. We'll look at that eventually at some point. But we got to get to the iron mine uh, to get some iron ore before we do much there. Hoppity hoppity. Doesn't help you fall down between the cars all the time. I'm going to leave you on. The tender's on. That's in full reverse. Got a full head of steam again. How's the fire doing? Let's get the fire built up. Let's get out of this valley and go make some money. Come on, controls. Work with me here. All right, you're starting to slide. You are on. Let's get you on, too. Come on, give me the throttle. Nope. It's it's trying. I'm not sure it can push against the uh, 
Yeah, it doesn't look like it can push against the weight of the train. All right, fine. <sighs> Let's try this again. We'll go down to the bottom of the hill. I thought this fire was going good enough. I should have checked in the uh, F menu. See how hot it actually was. So I guess we'll slide down to the bottom of the hill, herky-jerky all over the place. Um, since I've laid more and more track, I've noticed things are getting a little more jittery. So yeah, I'm not sure how long this is going to be able to keep going. For now, we're okay, but you can see it's... It's getting kind of it's getting kind of bad. Okay, let's get on some brakes. I just had those two on, I think. Oh, don't fall off of here. That'll be a bad day. All right, let's get this stopped. you going kind of acts like it wants to push against the train okay that's going that link didn't look very healthy did it well we'll uh we'll hope for the best now i want to try to run up here and get betsy going to help not sure monty can do this even just three percent i'm hoping the two of them together can skip and jump across the trains your brakes off throttles not working come on throttle there we go there's a thumbnail It's a little tight, it's a little steep. Oh boy. Oh boy. It might be a little too much still. Everybody push. Yeah, I was hoping, but... <laughs> Doesn't look like we're going to make it. All right, we'll shut you down. Run back along the tree. Ooh, don't fall off. Get balance carefully on the outside of the hopper cars. Let's try getting the proper run at it. Instead of just starting right at the base of the hill. I really want to go make some money and get a more powerful engine. Although there was an update and they nerfed all the traffic of efforts. Back to realistic values on a lot of the locos. Okay, come on, throttle. Work. Thank you. So, I don't know how well that plays out with the physics, you know, if it has a realistic Attractive effort, does that mean it's realistic? I don't know. So when it, when we get some money together, I'm gonna, I need to get about 6,000 together. Uh, we'll take a look in the in the menu and see what, it, what they say for attractive effort. All right, let's go forward. Forward. Uh, why are you going so slow? You're on pretty much level track now, if not downhill. Did I leave a brake on somewhere? I think all the brakes are off. Huh. 
Betsy's brakes should be off. I didn't ever have any of the beam cars with the brakes on. I did have the hopper brakes on at one point when I was trying to hold it on the hill. Let's double check those. That breaks off. Okay, whatever. Well, let's... Come on. See that? It, like, it doesn't work. There, and now it actually worked. Okay, back to the front of the train. That's what this episode is. Just running back and forth on the train. Riveting stuff. I know, I got way too much weight over here. On this train. Not nearly enough engine. That's what makes it exciting. Well, bullets just... Shuffing away as hard as she can go. Think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Let's hope so. We are going to eventually run out. So let's get the fire stoked again. Oh, that said 55. I guess that's not a percent on the uh, F menu. Okay, reverse your full back. You're coming to a stop. We'll throttle that way. Run back to the other end of the train. Here we go. <laughs> Wee. I need a radio command unit to control Betsy. All right. Forward ho. Go, go, gadget train engines. So I need to get rid of the switch. This this track doesn't go anywhere anymore. That's just the old track. I haven't got rid of that switch yet. I haven't deleted all the old track. We are wiggle jiggling all over the place. So we got a little bit of momentum, but neither one of these engines is very speedy. Not with this kind of weight anyway. But if this doesn't make it, then I'm gonna have to bring the train up in pieces. And we'll go from there. But I thought I'd make an episode out of trying to get out of the valley here. <laughs> Got myself in kind of a pickle. Oh, we made it further this time. Uh-oh. Come on, Betsy, dig deep. Oh, you were so close. You were doing so well. I think it was the curves that did us in.
Hippity hoppity. Oh, come on. Just trying to move on the cars is such a pain in the butt. I want to lock these down and send the rest of the train down. And we'll start hauling hoppers out of here. Wait for me! <laughs> Alright, now we got to run back to this part. This poor engine is now spinning its wheels wildly. Fighting a losing battle against momentum. what it's worth. I'll put the tender brake on. What? Oh, crap. No, let me on the train. Let me on the train. Why does everything have to be broken? I know I'm complaining a lot, but I'm just kind of sick of all the bugs in this game. It, it wears me out. Okay. Got that runaway train stopped. I'm going to run back up to Betsy. And I'll be right back. Alright, Betsy. Are you, are you feeling frisky? Feeling strong? You're feeling low on water. I need you. I need you to dig deep here. I don't know if you're going to be able to pull six of these. That might be asking a little much. Come on. Seems to want to take off with two pretty well. Oh, speaking of taking off, get back in the cab! S Stop! I can't get in the cab. <laughs> uh, that actually took off pretty decently well with three of them. Sorry, with two of them. I don't think we'll be able to do all six, but that kind of kind of gave me a little hope. I don't remember if this... Do these come with sand? I forget. Does this even have a sander? Yeah, there it is. Uh, down is open. Alright. I don't know if we have any sand, but... We have a sander. Alright, break off. Your break is off. Your break is off. Oh, she's tugging. No, six is too many. Yeah, six is too many. Let's try with four. Uh, I think we can do four. Go, Betsy. Look at that. What a little beast. I mean, they're empty, but still, those are heavy cars. It 
So I tried to kind of follow the landscape where I could. But this part out here at the beginning gets a little wild. And I don't really like doing huge trestles like this, but a little bit's sometimes unavoidable. Now here we're on 1% grade, so this is this is no problem. Once we get over that hump, we're at 1%. So I need to build, like, some uh, siding up here somewhere. Probably. Then I can uh, drop off these four cars, go get cars. So that'll be the that'll be the plan. I'll probably do that off-camera. Let me get the train up out of there. Now that we know it's possible. A few cars at a time. Then I need to go make some money. But uh, let's take a look at tractive effort real quick on the patch as I record this. Which is on October fourth. We'll see what see what we got to work with. No, last season I had a, a sighting in here. I might try to replicate that. Go ahead and throw on a car brake too, just to be extra safe. That should hold it on that hill. Cool. Drop a save. Let's go take a look in the G menu here. So 2870 on the tractive effort. Same for that guy. Uh, we got 9550. And the price is actually the price isn't bad on that one. The class 48. The problem is a lot of these updates have come out. The stuff is broken. So I don't know which of these is actually working at this moment. That's, that's not a bad price for 9500 so this is only 3650 yeah it should have should have went for that guy probably I don't remember if this was even in there when I started about the uh, Montezuma I thought it used to be more expensive all right 9550. 5620, that's not bad, the Eureka. Got the Glenbrook, 3100. Climax is the big boy. Same with the Heisler. Little Shea is 5896. It used to be a lot more. I think they made it more realistic because this is a really small Shea. They made it a lot bigger. Shays. The Mighty Cookie. I remember that engine. That was an awesome engine. Well, I, I want a geared loco, but I mean that... This Class 48 is looking pretty good. It doesn't look like it has a tender. It's got a little bit of a thing hanging off the back. I do want to do gears. I didn't do a whole lot with geared locos. So that's 56. I mean, that's the beast right there. And I, I heard in the bug report that the uh, drive shafts are like missing or hanging off of the shea or something. So I'm not sure what kind of shape it's in. It's only 5,800 on the attractive effort. We might go for the climax. Six grand. We could buy that and have a little change left over. I like the Shea, but I did now that it's got a realistic amount of attractive effort. I'm not sure it's really worth it. It's 5,800. It's, it's just barely a little more than the Montezuma. So we shall see. I'm thinking, uh, thinking we might just get the big geared loco and we can just pull for days. <laughs> anyway, that'll be it for uh, this video. Thanks as always for hanging out. I'll catch you in the next adventure. Take care. And we don't want to unload freight game. I want a nice little outro scene. <laughs>